Hello Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Welcome and welcome cross watchers. Let's take a look and see what's manifesting for you all. Any messages or advice? Anything you need to know right now? Any surprises? What's showing up around you as well? So this could be someone on your mind if any. As always, take what resonates and leave out the rest. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all social media, TikTok, Instagram. I am spiritually goldy on all platforms. If you are interested in a reading done by me, I'll leave all of that information in the description box below for you all. All right, so someone who you have unfinished business with is opening up to you about something here, okay? Someone's, someone's hoping that there's still a chance or there's still a door open to continue things, okay? Whoever this person is, They've been really like in the blues or depressed over um, the situation uh, with you. But I'm seeing five of swords. So something's happened. Something's happened and, and it didn't end well. You felt like you were uh, in some way betrayed by this person. Okay. And it felt very unfair to you there's been drama maybe even deception or, or or feeling cheated on okay that's that's what's coming out you offered your loyalty to this person okay and now it's like but the thing is your feelings are being validated or what's happened is is actually validating how you've been feeling about a situation or what you thought about a situation all along here okay so yeah you're in the process of letting go letting go for your own peace, for your own sense of like security in your in, in yourself and in your life. Okay. Like whatever this is, you're not letting it ruin your life. You're you're choosing to you're choosing to feel what you feel. Okay. It's like understanding that your feelings are valid. Your the way that you're feeling, it's um you're you're right. You can sit in this moment, but you just can't camp there. I always say that. So you can you can feel these feelings, but you just can't stay there forever. For your own for your own peace of mind. Okay? Cause the hangman reverse feels like this is something hard to let go of, okay? You're letting go, but it's it's hard. Some things are harder to let go of, okay? And this is something that may even take its time. But the thing I'm seeing is a divine masculine around you, emperor. This is Aries energy. It doesn't have to be an Aries. So someone who has discipline, someone who is... Um, showing up for you when you need them the most. This could be someone older. This could be a father figure who is kind of like protecting you. Yeah, I'm getting a very protective energy from this person who who's by your side or, or, or giving you what it is that you need, providing for you in some way. Tell me more about this emperor. Mm. 
Okay. This emperor is helping you heal, is bringing you healing or, or bringing you a sense of, of hope again. Okay. So tell me about this nine of pentacles. Someone around you is, is single here or maybe single now. Tell me about this nine of pentacles. Okay. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius thinking they're very, there's, they're very serious right now. They're thinking of, of, of a plan here. What's this plan that they're thinking of? Okay. Interesting. They're thinking of like how to create some, some change here in this situation. If you have someone in mind, think of them. Let's take a look and see how they're feeling about you, about this situation with you for the rest of the month. Okay. A lot of pentacles. A lot of earth. Tor strong Taurus here. So, it's interesting. I, 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 this person is feeling, um, right now kind of like out of balance or un feeling like the situation is, is unbalanced or just not stable right now. Okay. They're seeing you as wanting to have something reciprocated as you should <laughs> okay Ex or expressing yourself that you want something balanced you want something reciprocated equal equal give and take and there whoever this person is i'm seeing that this is someone who's over committed themselves to different things it has lost balance in their own life here. Okay. Why are they imbalanced? Oh. Ooh. Three of cups reverse. Uh-oh. So this is someone who's who's who has like been juggling. This is someone who's been juggling other people or co they've committed themselves to different people. How do you do that? <laughs> Commit yourself to different people. But there could be a cultural thing going on. I'm seeing 10 of pentacles, the hierophant um, of a different culture than you or different background than you. Uh, but this is someone who there is interesting. This is such an interesting person, <laughs> individual. Their intentions with you is to still build something long term with you. And still commit. With the Hierophant though, I feel like this is coming out of a place of kind of like obligation or feeling obligated by traditions or um, someone someone else's advice. There's something they're, they, they're trying to change here at least for for the better so something stable in the long term or protected in the long term with the sun okay interesting so the, their actions coming towards you is to bring you the truth to a situation or bring you clarity here wanting to make something right in order for something to uh, stabilize itself once again. Ten of Pentacles. 
but you're at this point at this point I see you wanting to explore a new opportunity somewhere else now and wanting to un attach yourself to this situation with this person okay I'm seeing you going down a different path. You're going down a different path because whatever what you maybe maybe you've taken a little detour here, but you're now being put back on track. Okay. The situation was for a short time, not a long time. Why the six of cups? To acknowledge, validate past traumas, childhood traumas, so that a new manifestation can start, so that we can let go of our own generational burdens. Whatever this is was meant to break you free from a generational burden or cycle and, and not continue this cycle moving forward. You are letting go of a generational or, or cycle that has been kind of passed down to you from childhood. In love. Yeah, this is this is the end. You're coming out of this situation more energized than you've ever felt before motivated ready for a passionate new beginning this this is a i don't think you realize this is actually a big change happening for you because you are breaking free from um a cycle with the devil over here <laughs> you are breaking free from that from that situation or that person Interesting. Ooh. <laughs> you someone's obsessed with you. I think someone was in lust with you. They they love the idea of you, but at the end of the day wasn't able to appreciate you. Tell me about validate feelings. Yeah, I, you're starting to realize that looking back at messages, some of you, you're looking back at messages and maybe realizing someone's someone's intentions in between the lines. So what's next? You're gonna be taking it slow with someone else. You're gonna be taking it slow, meeting someone possibly online through social media. Yeah, you're you're slowing down now, or the way that you love now is is slowing down. Okay, you're no longer accepting breadcrumbs. Mm. There could have been an unplanned pre pregnancy here, even, but you're keeping it moving. You're keeping it moving, and you're finding reconciliation with yourself, making amends. Here, cutting ties, cutting yourself loose from this situation so that a brand new opportunity can appear for you. I'm seeing the numbers 1, 9, 10, 7, 5. Those numbers could be birthdays, special days, synchronicities. I'm seeing the letters U, D, P, E, O, H, N. Those letters could be in your name or someone else's name. But with that said, this is... What I'm seeing, if it did resonate, let me know. If you made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and your patience, and I hope you have a blessed rest of your day. Bye.